down here on Smith Mountain Lake State Park. It's about eight o'clock. Left home about three o'clock this morning to get down here. First day of practice. First time on this lake on my boat. I've fished it twice before as a co-angler in BFLs. Uh, this is also gonna be my first uh, outing as a BFL boater. So today I'm planning on mostly just kind of idling around, uh, getting, getting used to the lake a little bit, figuring out maybe if I can find spots that are good. Probably do a little bit of fishing, not a lot. Uh, I got tomorrow to do some more practice. Uh, that's when I plan on doing most of my fishing. And then of course the uh, tournament on Saturday. Weather's a little cool. It's uh, low 40s right now. Wind's blowing decently. Uh, in a cove here at the park, it's not too bad, but I got an idea when I get on the main lake, it's gonna be a gust of 15. Uh, later today, they're talking gust of 30, so it can get kinda, kinda gnarly out there. We'll, we'll see what that's like. And, uh, I think it's going to be like that tomorrow and Saturday as well, so at least the practice conditions are going to be similar to the, uh, the fishing conditions for the tournament. Uh, is a slight chance of rain today, only about 25% uh, during the middle of the day. Hopefully we don't get caught in that, but uh, we'll deal with it if we do. So uh, wish me luck and uh, we'll go from there. So as I said before, I spent most of the morning idling around looking at uh, different things. Found some really nice looking lay down structure, uh, but didn't, didn't see or find any fish on it. Didn't do a lot of fishing until I pulled into this cove. I was, uh, was hoping there were some bedding fish. There were some decent beds in this cove last year, so I kind of pulled in here to look around to see if I could find any, any bedding fish. And, um, did see, I saw a couple of beds, didn't really see much of a way to fish on those beds. I think that maybe the cool weather had pulled it back off and they, they slid back out a little bit into the deeper water. Um, had been uh, throwing a number of baits at this point. I dropped over, switched over to a drop shot to, to give it a try. Little buck bass. I suspect he was on the bed. So I'm not going to throw back up in there. We'll save this for later. Maybe we can get a bigger one. As you can probably tell here, I did uh, try targeting some fish using my active target out in a little bit deeper water, kind of in the center of the cove there. I could see a few fish out there. Not big schools, but a fish or two. Uh, tried several different lures, including a drop shot to, to capture them, and uh, didn't get much success out of that. Did get to enjoy some nice weather, though. Tongue in cheek.
more sleeting on me. Lovely. So Friday, day two, was uh, very similar to the previous day. It was a little less overcast. The wind was pretty much the same, which is terrible. Uh, but at least I wasn't having to deal with sleet and rain. I uh, spent a lot of time, again, idling around, looking at different areas, trying to find some uh, some schools of bass. Didn't really have much success. Uh, looked in coves, looked out on the main lake points. Uh, did did manage to catch a couple of fish out on a main lake point, but they were, they were both small and... Uh, not of much value, so I uh, didn't even bother recording them on here. But uh, all in all, day two was uh, about as productive as day one, which is to say, not very. So that brings us to day three, which is tournament day Saturday. Uh, wind was, again, pretty much the same as the previous days. It looks a little calmer here, but we're kind of back in a cove where it's uh, not quite as strong as out on the main lake. I got paired up with a nice young man. Um, enjoyed fishing with him. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, get on fish for him. He did catch a couple. He, well, he caught one small one that was too short, and then he hooked into a second one, but it got off before he could get it to the boat. Um, we uh, tried a number of things. Again, main lake points uh, in and out of the wind. We tried uh, a lot of wood cover, uh, a lot of stumpy areas, uh, a lot of docks, uh, and just about anything else we could think of. And uh, You'll see the, the only bite and the only catch I got that day coming up shortly. Back in this area. Maybe. That's a good one. Oh, that is definitely a good one. Unfortunately, one fish doesn't make a pattern, and we were never able to find okay. any others. I'm just glad that the one I did catch was a nice one five pounds, seven ounces.